हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फ्यू डे बैक आई हैव मेड स्पीडोमीटर प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग ई एस पी थर्टी टू एंड जी पी जीरो टू मॉड्यूल इन विच वी कैन मोनिटर आवर रियल टाइम स्पीड एंड वी कैन आल्सो मोनिटर द लेटेट्यूड एंड एल्यूट्यूड वी कैन आल्सो चेंज द यूनिट ऑफ द स्पीड आई वी कैन मोनिटर द स्पीड इन माइल पर आवर एंड किलोमीटर पर आवर वी कैन इजली टॉगल बिटवीन द यूनिट ऑफ द स्पीड बाई प्रेसिंग अ बटन ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट प्रोजेक्ट वॉज वेरी यूजफुल एंड यू ऑल लव दैट प्रोजेक्ट एंड बाई यूजिंग सेम हार्डवेयर दैट इज ई एस पी थर्टी टू जी पी जीरो टू मॉड्यूल एंड ऑल डिस्प्ले आई हैव मेड अनदर प्रोजेक्ट विच इज जी पी एस बेस्ड डिस्टर क्लॉक एंड वी कैन स्विच बिटवीन डिफरेंट टाइम जो जस्ट बाई प्रेसिंग द सेम बटन दैट वी आर यूजिंग इन द स्पीडोमीटर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर स्विचिंग इन डिफरेंट यूनिट दैट इज किलोमीटर पर आवर और माइल पर आवर बाई यूजिंग सेम बटन वी कैन स्विच बिटवीन डिफरेंट टाइम जो आई दैन आई एस टी बी एस टी एन एफ टी ई एस टी एंड इन दिस जी पी एस बेस्ड स्पीडोमीटर वी डोंट रिक्वायर एनी काइंड ऑफ आर टी सी मॉड्यूल हियर वी आर प्योरली टेकिंग ऑल द डेटा फ्रॉम सेटेलाइट यूजिंग जी पी जीरो टू मॉड्यूल एंड दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट आर टू सेपरेट प्रोजेक्ट सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू मर्ज दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट इन टू वन बिकॉज हार्डवेयर ऑफ दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट आर सेम एंड फॉर मर्जर ऑफ दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट वी डोंट नीड टू चेंज एनी थिंग इन द हार्डवेयर द हार्डवेयर रिमेन सेम बट ओनली कोड इज चेंज बाई चेंजिंग द कोड वी कैन मर्ज दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस सिंगल प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव नाउ स्पीडोमीटर एंड डिजिटल क्लॉक लेट मी सो यू अ डेमो फर्स्ट राइट नाउ दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज इन द क्लॉक मोड Now we can switch between different time zones just by pressing this button. As you can see, right now it is EST, IST, UTC, NPT, and BST. Uh, this clock is in the 24-hour format, and if we press this button for more than three seconds, it will change the mode. Let me show you. Right now it is in the speedometer mode. Uh, right now it is the in uh, mile per hour. If we press this button, it will uh, switch between different units. That is, kilometer per hour and mile per hour. Only these two units are available: mile per hour, kilometer per hour. So this button has two functions. If we press for uh, more than three seconds, it will change the mode of this project. That is, from clock to speedometer, speedometer to clock. And if we press for very short time, that is this, it will change the unit of the speed. That is, kilometer per hour and mile per hour. and if it is in the clock mode let me show you first by changing clock mode so if it is in the clock mode it will switch between the uh, different time zone as you can see ist utc and pt so this is the quick demo let's move further in the video uh, before we move on let's talk about the future of electronics design you already know about ultium designer one of the most powerful tool for pcb design from schematic to layout and manufacturing outputs ultium designer is best and then there is the ultium 365 the cloud platform that lets you collaborate in real time you can share your project securely and manage your version control from anywhere and uh, now imagine both of these were combined into one seamless experience that's exactly what ultium develop brings to you and apart from this ultium develop offers something more something beyond collaboration uh, ultium develop is a next generation platform designed for multidisciplinary teams electrical mechanical software procurement and comprise all working together in a single connected environment no silos no wasted time just co creation without any constraints every changes every decision and every requirement lives in a real time context giving your team the visibility to stay aligned and make your smarter choices uh, from pcb design and requirement tracking to supply chain management and manufacturing hands off it's all right here this is especially built for small and mid size organization ultium develop delivers enterprise level collaboration without any overhead uh, this is not just a collaboration it's a true co creation and it's a faster clearer and built for the way in the modern teams work And here is the best part Ultium Develop is available for free 30 day trial. I uh, check the link in the description and start creating without any limitation with Ultium Develop. Now let's back to our main video. So this is our code for today's project. Uh, let me explain this code for you. Uh, first of all we need to add these libraries in your Arduino IDE to run this code smoothly. Uh, this one dot is wire dot is uh, this is used for I2C communication. and this tiny gps plus which is used for the uh, gps module and these two libraries which is used for the display and this one hardware serial dot h uh, this library is used for using the uart pin of any other uart pin of the esp32 uh, in esp32 there is a two uart pin serial 1 and serial 2 so if you want to use serial 2 pin then you, you need to include this library in the code and here in this part of the code here we define the i2c address for the i2c display screen width and screen height of the display 
and after that here we define a object called display which is the adafruit ss11060 type in which we pass the screen width screen height and the i2c address and oled reset value and here we define another object which is a tiny gps plus type which is gps and we define the uh, serial pin for G gps module which is serial 2 and this is the rx and tx pin of the esp32 which is used to connect the gp02 module and here in this section of the code first we define the button pin for uh, switch button which is connected on the pin number 32 uh, these are some variables which are used for the handling the debouncing event in the hardware and uh, this variable which is a long press uh, let me explain this in detail actually in this project there are the two type of press long press and short press whenever we press button for more than three seconds then it will change the mode that is if our project is in clock mode then it will go in uh, speedometer mode and if it is in speedometer mode then it will go in a clock mode so it will change the mode of the project and if we press for a very short time that is uh, less than 3 seconds then it will change the unit if it is in the speedometer uh, mode and it will change the time zone if it is in the clock mode so if the project is in the clock mode if we press the button for a very short period of time then it will change the time zone so by pressing that button very short period of time we can switch between the time zones so in speedometer if we press that button we can easily switch between the kilometer per hour and mile per hour so in this project there is a two type of press short press and long press and both press have their different uh, functions now in further in the code this is a nm type uh, data type in which we have two things mode clock and mode speedo uh, by using this data type we can uh, switch between the mode that is from clock to speedometer by default uh, value of mode is clock so whenever we boot our project the project will go by default in a clock mode uh, and also we can switch between mode by pressing button more than uh, 3 seconds then there is another variable which is a boolean type variable that is use mph that is this uh, variable is used to switch between the unit that is either we are using kilometer per hour or mile per hour uh, this variable is used further in the code so if it is false then we are going for kilometer per hour and if it is true we are going for uh, mile per hour and here this is a structure type variable in which we define a array in which there is a time zone and offset minute so you can enter as many as time zones you want just put the name of that time zone and offset minute so basically this offset time is in minute let me explain in detail uh, for example in indian, indian standard time that is ist which is uh, ahead of UTC time by 5 hour and 30 minute and if we convert 5 hour 30 minute into minute then it will become 330 so offset time is always in minute so if you want to add any other time zone so first you need to calculate that particular time zone is ahead of the UTC or behind the UTC accordingly convert that uh, uh, UTC offset time into minute and you need to enter here uh, that uh, for example this uh, EST which is uh, ahead of UTC sorry this is uh, behind the UTC by 5 hours so if you convert 5 hours into uh, minute it will become 300 minutes so in this way you can add as many as time zones you want and here uh, this variable which is constant type integer variable num zones this variable automatically counts how many time zones you have added so no need to mention anything in the code just you need to uh, add any time zone in this array code will automatically count it and it will accordingly act it and this variable this variable is very important which give us the time zone index that is this array so the index of this array is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we can easily monitor which time zone is currently using in our project so we can easily track of that time zone by using this indexing variable now this function that is is leap so this uh, this function basically we are using here to calculate either the year is sleep year or not if the year is sleep year then we need to give February 29 days in this variable we are checking the days in the month how many days in that particular month so basically we are giving total 12 month and we are giving the dates total days in that month 31 28 these are presets but in the February there is a two things if it is month 2 and it is leap year then we are giving 29 days otherwise the day in february is 28 and this is a function add minute to utc date time 
बेसिकली वाट वी आर डूइंग हेयर दिस इज अ बेसिक फंक्शन इन विच वी आर डूइंग बेसिक मैथ कैलकुलेशन एंड वी आर कन्वर्टिंग यूटिसी डेट टाइम इन टू लोकल डेट टाइम दिस फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड इन द लूप बट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग हेयर सो दिस फंक्शन इज गिविंग डेट टाइम इन यू टी सी एंड कन्वर्टिंग इन इन टू अ लोकल डेट टाइम सो डेट वी कैन इजिली प्रिंट ऑन आवर एल सी डी डिस्प्ले एंड या दिस इज अ वेरी स्मॉल फंक्शन बट इज बट द रोल ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इज वेरी बिग दिस फंक्शन बेसिकली रेंडर्स द यू आई दैट इज वी आर दैट टेक्स वी आर प्रिंटिंग ऑन द आई टू सी डिस्प्ले सो दिस फंक्शन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रिंटिंग नीटली क्लीनली इन सेंटर्ड एंड इन हॉर्जेंटल टेक्स डेट वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट इन आवर एल सी डी एंड हियर वी आर दिस फंक्शन विच इज यूज टू शो मोड ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस फंक्शन इज यूज टू प्रिंट द विच पर्टिकुलर मोड डेट इज स्पीडोमीटर और क्लॉक इज रनिंग ऑन आवर डिस्प्ले एंड दिस फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो कॉल समवेयर इन द कोड आई दर इट इज इन द लूप सेक्शन और सेटअप फंक्शन यू विल सेल फर्दर इन द कोड सो फर्स्ट वी आर कॉलिंग दिस फंक्शन दैट इज डो सेंटर विच इज दिस वेयर वी आर चेकिंग एंड मेकिंग यू आई एंड आफ्टर डेट वी आर प्रिंटिंग आफ्टर डेट वी हैव अनदर फंक्शन दैट इज सो नो जी पी एस वेन एवर आवर जी पी एस मॉड्यूल इज नॉट प्रॉपरली कनेक्टेड विद दी एस पी थर्टी टू देन दिस फंक्शन विल कॉल इन द कोड in which we are printing on the serial monitor as well as on the display that is satellite module not found check wiring and power and this function that is so searching this function is called whenever gp02 module is properly connected with the esp32 and everything is correct uh, but gp02 is not uh, receiving any satellite data in the module so in that case this function is called where we are printing on the serial monitor as well as on the i2c display that is looking for satellites and number of satellites currently connected and here this function render clock all these functions are called in the loop section first let me show the loop section first in the loop section first we are checking if any serial data is available from gps module or not if any serial data is not available we are only checking for 5 second then we are calling this function so no gps that i already explained and if any serial data is available we are calling this function handle button function let me show you where this handle button function is Uh, here is a handle button function where we are reading uh, button pressed by the user uh, we are checking if button is pressed by or not if button is pressed then we are accordingly changing the mode if the button is pressed for more than 3 second then we are changing the mode and if button is pressed for uh, less than 3 second then th in that case a uh, user wants to change the uh, either he is want to change the unit of speed that is kilometer per hour or mile per hour in the uh, speedometer mode and if it is in the clock mode then user wants to change the time zone uh, uh, switch between different time zone by pressing that button so we are handling button press in this function and after that here we are calling uh, this function if mode is clock then we are calling this render clock function otherwise this render speed of function is called so let me explain this uh, code one by one first i am going with a render clock uh, here is the render clock function in this function first we are checking if the gps time and gps date is available or not if these two are not available we are calling this function so searching and if gps time and date is available then we are uh, first storing uh, utc hour utc minute utc second utc date utc month and utc hour in this function and after retrieving all this data we are converting this data in another variable which is ly that is local year local month local date local hour local minute and something like that then we are uh, sending this all parameter in this function that i already explained here this function add minute to utc date and time which is used for converting utc date minute time into local time zones then after that we are simply printing uh, local hour local minute time zone value date utc and number of satellite so this is the render clock function and after that we have render speedo function in which first we are checking if any uh, location data is available or not if if any uh, location data is not available then we are calling this function that is so searching that means uh, gp02 module is not uh, receiving any data and if any data is available uh, then we are first checking if speed value that is spd value is a true or false accordingly we are calling this to function if it is true then we are going with mile per hour if it is false we are going to kilometer per hour so this two function give uh, speed value in mile per hour and this one give speed value in kilometer per hour and accordingly we are uh, setting the unit of the speed that is mile per hour kilometer per hour then here we are retrieving the number of satellite from the Uh, GP02 module. How many satellites are connected? And here we are uh, storing latitude value, 
and longitude value and similarly we are here printing the value of speed by setting the uh, text size to 2 so we want to print uh, value of speed in bold character and here we are printing the number of satellite from which gp02 module is connected and in the lower part of the lcd we are just printing the latitude and longitude of the uh, current position and handle button function i have already explained uh, let me go to the setup function uh, i am explaining in the last setup function but uh, you understand the flow of the code so i am not explaining in the right way of code but this is okay no problem so here first we uh, in the slice the serial communication with the serial motor with the 115200 portrait we slice the serial communication with the gp02 module uh, with 9600 portrait then we define the pin mode for switch button that is button pin and input pull up so button pin is connected at button pin which is 32 and, and mode is input pull up and here we start the uh, display communication and here we are calling this function that is so mode screen and we are passing this clock that means whenever our project will boot uh, the mode will be clock and in the loop section i have already explained all these things so that's all the explanation part of this code uh, now go to tools and select the right board that is esp32 module and also select the right communication port that is right port and hit upload button to upload this code uh, now connect the GP02 module with the SP32 and OLED display with the SP32 according to this circuit diagram. Uh, you can download this code and circuit diagram in the description. You will get the link in the description. So download that and use in your project. So this is our speedometer and digital clock project. Uh, now as you can see by default it is in the clock mode. And right now the time is 15.32. Uh, the time is set in the 24 hour format and date is 10 October 2025 and UTC time is 10.0216 uh, and number of satellite from which GP02 module is connected is 15. So let me show you how we can change in different mode. Uh, right now it is in the clock mode and uh, let me show in uh, speedometer uh, mode. So if you want to change the mode just we need to press this button for more than 3 seconds and uh, let me press this button for 3 seconds. Uh, as you can see the mode is now speedometer now we can measure the speed in real time uh, right now this speedometer is in kilometer per hour mode and this is still so no speed is showing this is 0.0, .0 kilometer per hour and satellite number of satellite from this gp02 module is connected is 80 and you can see value of latitude and longitude and by pressing this button just by uh, short press we can switch between the different unit uh, as you can see it is now in mile per hour kilometer per hour and mile per hour and if we press this button for more than three seconds uh, it will change the mode uh, let me show you uh, right now it is in the clock mode and if we press this button again for a short period of time it will change the uh, time zone right now this time zone is utc as you can see in the right corner uh, so press short now it is NPT, BST, JST, EST, IST. So just by pressing sort button, we can uh, switch between different time zone. And if you want to change the mode, just we need to press this button for more than five seconds. Uh, that is three more than three seconds or five seconds. So this is a very cool project. Uh, now this project has some practical uses. You can use this project while hiking, traveling or uh, like tracking, hiking. Uh, this project don't require any kind of RTC module. Here we are taking all the data from the satellite. So GP02 module is receiving all the data from satellites and giving us the value of uh, uh, date, time in UTC and speed in kilometer or per hour or mile per hour. So this project is very good. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video and you learn something new. If you have any question or queries regarding this project or any other project, you can contact me via these numbers. Uh, you will get my phone number and email ID in your screen. So you can contact me uh, using this channel. And also you can comment in the comment section below. So that's all in this video. Please like my video, subscribe my channel if you have subscribed and share this video with your friends. And we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.